Hi, welcome to the Cyfinity training course. And today in this video, I would like to show you how to running or importing the existing Cyfinity project into the local PC. Okay, so basically when you are working in a team, so you you or someone in the team will be install the Cyfinity first on on the PC. After that, they will create a first project. And once the project is created, so all of the members in the team will be using the same uh, project for deployment. And okay, so now, for example, you are the guy who installed the Cyfinity CMS on your PC. And after that, you deliver the short code and database to another guy in your team. And now, th this video will guide you how to import thing that existing Cyfinity project into uh, multiple um, PC to work with. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so for example, this one is a Cyfinity project manager I would set up in the previous video and the, the database and sign name is Cyfinity demo. And this, I will open the short code. No, sorry. Yeah, this one is a short code of Cyfinity and the database name should be Cyfinity demo here. And now I will deliver. Okay, so basically, when you are working in a team and in the company, so you just need to deliver the short code to the team member by sharing it over the short console like GitHub, uh, Bbucket, or Swati, or something like that. Uh, and all of the people will connect into uh, the same database. So, for example, this database you have to hosting is on a server, a set of server. So everyone in the team will be connect into that. But basically, that is that is just for development when you are deploy the code to a set of repository. But basically, when you you want to implement some feature, which is not includes in the project or you want to be do some testing or something like that uh, by yourself. So you should have the code and also the database at the, at the local PC. So now, in order to do that, you have to deliver this short code and also this database. Okay, so the short code, you don't need to copy this one or and or uh, commit it to the source code control or zip file and send directly to the friend or the colleagues. And okay, so in this video, I will just copy it and duplicate the code into this folder. Okay, so I will name it e my Cyfinity project. Okay. And the database, I have to create a backup version and after that I deliver it to my colleagues for them to install it on ZPC. Okay. Create a backup version. I will name it at app at app project dot b a key. This extension is a format of the backup file or um, sequence server database. It is successfully created backup file. So open the my computer repository here. I have the Cyfinity project backup file here. And after that, I go ahead to deliver this file into uh, for my colleagues. And for example, one 
one one my colleague get the file and the short codes on 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 his PC. So he go ahead to open the Visual uh, the sequence server on his PC and go ahead to restore the database into the sequence server management database. A management server. Okay, so for example, this one is a, a sequence server management studio tool on my friend PC. So now he go ahead to rest uh, restore it. Right click on the database, click on restore database here. Select the device, this device and database. Okay, he can name the database name new name E S F Read what to be fail. Okay, we will have to refresh this one. New other way. Because for now I'm using the same database here, so I think I should temporarily dis disable it first. Detect. It's running, so cannot disable. I have to stop this one. Close this one as well. So, okay, try it again. Oh, we have to enter another name. Sorry. Yes, 
you can see for now the database has been restored successfully on the on 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 my colleague's PC, for example. Okay. And this one is a new database. Okay, so now I will open the my oh sorry here. This one is a new database, a new subcode and database. So now I open the application data and configuration and data config. And it's this one. So now go ahead to change the database name here. The database name should be Cyfinity Project. If you are run, running another or uh, on other PC, so you have to check the uh, an instance of server name or uh, of the sequence server on the PC, on server account and password. Okay, so now open the IS server. Go ahead to create a new website. Name is e project.local. And physical path should be this one. Okay, copy this again. And now stop this one first. Open the hot file of system, window system. System 3.2. Drive, etc, hot file. Add a new one here. Okay, and now restart it again. So copy this one and open this in browser. Oh, sorry. Try it again here. Yes, it's running. So normally it will take a while for the first running. It should be quite some configuration, so it will take the time. Okay, so you can see here this one is the front page, front end page. Because for now we don't have any page created over the back end, so we don't have anything to display here. Just mean if you this uh, this is displaying your default page of Cyfinity. Let's click on the login to the back end to see the the, the admin page.
yes, you can see this one is a dashboard uh, and also the admin page. So, meaning you have just uh, successfully created the, uh, the project from an existing project set up by the friend. Okay, so I hope this, this video will be helpful for you. And after you finish this project, so you know, at uh, this video, you know how to uh, create a project by yourself. And after that, you deliver that project and that and database for the colleagues in the team. Okay, so I hope that helps. And feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye.